Hello guys and welcome back to lead logics. This is the regions cut by slashes problem from lead code and the number for this is 959. So in the given problem we have an n cross n grid which is composed of 1 cross 1 squares where each 1 cross 1 square consists of a, either a forward slash, a backward slash or a blank space. So these characters can divide the square into contiguous regions. Given the grid uh, variable grid represents as an string array and returns the number of regions. We have to return the number of region. So we have to note that backslash characters are escaped as double backslash. So they are represented as double backslash as well. So in this problem, this problem actually involves finding the number of regions formed by slashes. That is a forward slash and the backward slash. And the challenge is to consider how these slashes divide the grid and to count the number of separate regions by them. So to solve the problem, we can think of each cell in the grid as being divided into four triangles as you can consider like if it is a forward slash like in the example one, we have a upper left triangle and the bottom right triangle and similarly it had been a backward slash then the case would be vice versa. So the key idea is to model the problem as a graph where each triangle is a node and adjacent triangles are connected by edges. So we will be using a union find algorithm for this since union find is used for disjoint set union and each cell in the grid uh, will be corresponding to one of the four regions that is the upper left upper right or the lower left lower right. So we will use a union find data structure and now let us come to the approach. So, so in the approach first the first step will be the creation of union find data structure to manage the connection and the purpose is to efficiently manage and merge the disjoint sets that is the distinct number of regions and the components for this is the parent array which keeps the track of the parent and a rank array that helps in balancing the tree structure and also we have a grid representation so for uh, suppose to initialize the boundaries of the grid we have to represent it in the form of grid representation so that's why we also need a grid representation and initially we have taken a dot array where each point on the grid is a node and we create a 1d array to represent these nodes so you can see how we are going to do the point 0 0 will show the index 0, the point 0 1 will show the index 1, then the point 1 0 will show index 2 and in a similar way we are going to create a sort of graph representation for this grid string array which we have and once we have the boundary initialization we ensure that boundary dots are connected to each value because for the union find operation we need the graph to be connected and then we are going to process each cell accordingly if it is a backward slash or it is a forward slash. So if it is a forward slash we connect the diagonal nodes that is we will be connecting the i if it is a like forward slash we will be connecting i plus j and c and j node with the i and j plus 1 node and if it is a backward slash we will be cons considering connecting i and j cell to i plus 1 j plus 1 because if you see if you go as such as a backward slash so you will be going from ij to i plus 1 j plus 1 and if you see for a forward slash you will be going from i plus 1 j and then j increases and i decreases so it becomes i and j plus 1 so similarly we are going to perform the union operation in these cases so Let's come to the coding section but before that do like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. In the meanwhile we are going to start the coding. So first of all we need to define the union find structures so for that we need a parent array then we need a rank array we also need a count array, not a count array but a count variable and 
let's first write the union find approach so public void union you take a int a int b and int parent of a equal to we'll be using the find of a similarly int parent of b will be using find of b and if parent of a equal equal to parent of b that means they both belong to the same group so we do a count plus plus otherwise if rank of parent of a is less than rank of parent of b then what does that mean so this means we have to take parent of parent of parent of a equal to parent of b since the rank of parent of a is less than the rank of parent of b in the otherwise case you can do the parent of parent of b equal to parent of a because in this case the rank of parent a would be greater than rank of parent b so we also have to do a rank of parent a plus plus so if you are not acquainted with the union find algorithm i would recommend you to go through the union find algorithm once you can find it on any of the like websites or you can find another another videos on youtube where you can see the union find first and then you will re realize what we are going to do in this problem so we have a public int find so in union basically basically we do is that what is what it is named as like we do the union of two different groups and in find we find the parent of the two different groups like for a particular group we define a parent and from that parent all the members of that group arise so this is a sort of union find algorithm so when we do a find we try to find the super parent or the parent of that particular number or whatever the node we can say so if the parent of a equal equal to a that means if it is a self parent we can return a otherwise we have to find the parent recursively until we get to to the super parent parent of a equal to temp return temp so this is our union find part now let's come to the region by slashes function so in this we need to first define the rows so the rows will be defined as grid dot length and in dots we'll be defining as rows plus 1 now parent will be defined as a new array int array and that two of size dots into dots and we also need a rank so we have already defined this we only need to initialize this will be initialized with the new int and the size will be for this also it will be dots cross dots and then we will going to be looping int i equal to 0 we'll are going to loop till 
the parent length i is less than the parent dot length i plus plus and if parent of i equal not so we are going to do parent of i equal to i and rank of i also equal to i initially we set the parent of i equal to i and rank of i equal to i then in the next steps i is less than the dots what we have defined i plus plus and then again a for loop j equal to 0 j is less than dots so you can see we are using here two for loops and this will give the complexity of n square from this side so first of all we'll check if i equal equal to 0 or j equal equal to 0 or i equal equal to those that means is it a boundary element or j equal equal to those this condition if true means it is a boundary element then in that case cells equal to i into dots plus j and we do a union of 0 with the cells now for the remaining part we are going to loop from here i is less than rows i plus plus char ch equal to grid of i dot to char array for int j equal to 0 j is less than ch dot length j plus plus now if now we have to implement this part like i told you this part the table part so now we are going to check where we if the ch of j equal equal to a backward slash and we have to use multiple backward slash to avoid because it is given as a escape character so in this case what we were doing int cell 1 equal to i into dots plus j and otherwise cell 2 would be i plus 1 into dots plus j plus 1 and we are going to do the union of cell 1 along with cell 2 so for backward slash we were going from i and j to i plus 1 and j plus 1 now similarly we have to do something not something like the vice versa for the forward slash also so we are going to simply copy this first change it to forward slash and we were taking it from i plus 1 to j i plus 1 and j f to i and j plus 1 so this part is done we can simply go and return the count from here let's see if it runs fine so at line number 26 we have some issue so you can see accepted let's try to run for the hidden test cases as well 
So the hidden test case is also passed with a good time complexity and a good memory complexity. Now let's talk about the time complexity and the memory complexity also. So the time complexity for this is actually uh, O of n square into alpha of n where the n is the size of grid and that alpha part comes from the union fine. And the space complexity is actually O of n plus 1 raised to the power 2 so because we are using this dots dots array that is dots rows dot size. So this was the time complexity. You can also find the C++ and Python solution by going into the solutions panel and then check this solution by Lanzotex. This is my solution where you can find the intuition, approach, step-by-step -step explanation using tables, the Java code, C++ code and Python code. And yes, do remember to upvote me. So I hope you understood the video, understood the logic. Please do like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. I know the, the video has become uh, pretty long. So thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.